In this video, I'm going to show you how to add advanced tasker bubbles, which can change their appearance both on your Android Wear watch and in the home screen widgets and folders. So in this folder, I have this bubble, which if I tap can change its color and even its label. And it's not only changing it in the folder where the bubble is, it's changing its appearance everywhere. I place the same tasker bubble in the widget on the home screen. If you have an Android Wear watch, these same tasker bubbles can be placed in the Wear clouds. And when those bubbles are tabbed, they will also change their color and labels, as you can see here. Before I show you how to create these Tasker bubbles on the watch, let's go back to our phone and I'm going to show you a little example in Tasker, which we will call Countdown. And I will start with a for loop, loop variable count, counting down from five to one. And I will stop editing this task for the time being and I show you how to add a new tasker bubble to a folder using the circle plus button in the cloud properties we scroll down to add tasker bubble we can select the task you see can down right there and we can assign an icon to it I found this uh, nice blue icon that represents counting back in time and you can already see that blue icon there in the cloud and i can try to tap on it but of course nothing happens because the task doesn't do much yet so let's continue to edit our task this time we are going to add the bubble cloud plugin to the task you will find it under plugins the bubble cloud plugin just as with any other plugins you we will have to configure it using the little pencil icon there first we need to choose which bubbles to update clicking on the search icon there gives us a list of tasker bubbles in our bubble clouds and i choose the countdown bubble we are going to change two properties of the countdown bubbles first the color if we click on this color box it will mark the background color as something that is going to change and we pick this red color and we are going to change the label to a tasker variable by clicking on this tasker variable icon and picking the count variable note global variables are not listed here but you can still add them just by typing their name and next we add a one second long wait command to wait between the iterations of the for loop and then we end the for loop and finally we are going to change the bubble back to its original format using again the plugin notice the little symbols next to the task names our new countdown task is listed because it is in a bubble cloud on my phone the other task the one i showed you in the beginning has two icons because it is also present on the watch we can restore the original look of the bubble by setting the background color to transparent this will expand the icon in the bubble to the full area we can remove the label by setting it to a blank string. Okay, so we are ready to test. From the folder, we click on the bubble and it changes color and starts to count back. As soon as it reaches zero, it changes the icon back to its original form. We open the Bubble Cloud application to add our tasker bubble to our watches using the Wear Cloud Editor. We are going to use the new floating action button for adding tasker bubbles. And we again simply choose the task, countdown, and we pick a different icon this time. And I'm going to modify the size of this bubble to minus nine so it appears in the archive cloud on the watch. After refreshing the watch, we will see that this new bubble appears in the archive cloud and clicking on the bubble we can see how it works the same way counts back and then changes back to its original icon 
If you think this is already pretty cool, watch what else is possible. This time we are going to edit the task which toggled the red and green bubble colors. We are adding another call to the bubble change plugin, but this time setting a condition based on the global variable percent toggle. Even though we are in the task called toggle, we can still modify the bubbles associated with the Kanban task. Instead of changing its color or label, this time we are going to change its location. We can move the bubble between bubble clouds. This plugin call will move it to the home screen widget. Since there are other bubble changing calls in this task already, we can turn off cloud refresh for this call to avoid refreshing the clouds twice. I will reorder the commands so the plugin calls which do refresh the clouds succeed this one with the ZZ sleep symbol. We still need to move it back to the folder though. For this I simply make a duplicate and edit the condition and the target cloud. OK, showtime. Tapping the red bubble not only changes it to green, but also brings the blue countdown bubble into this widget. I have bubble animation turned on for this cloud. Still, tapping on the countdown bubble will do its thing. Tapping on the green toggle bubble again will remove the countdown bubble from the widget. It went back to the folder. You can imagine how useful this can be to show hide bubbles based not only on toggles but time of day or even geographical location. This tasker bubble makes bubble clouds even more powerful.